Hello and welcome to the Game Dev Outpost. In this video, we're going to be exporting custom collision from Blender into Godot 3. The first thing you want to do is make a mesh for your collision. And then once you have that, we're going to nest it underneath of our game mesh. Now for Godot to interpret the collision correctly, we need to give it a naming convention. And there's three different naming conventions we can use. COL, COL only, and CONV, COL only. Whatever you put before the suffix doesn't matter. You can name it whatever you want as long as it has that naming convention at the end. Let's take a look at each one. We'll start with COL, and then we're gonna select our game mesh, and then for these examples, we're gonna use Collada to export. I'm gonna export this directly to my Godot project, and then I'm gonna give it a name. The other thing that I'll do with this is I'll make sure I come down here and I turn on Selection Only and Include Children. This way, with the game mesh selected, and the collision underneath, they'll export together. Now since I exported directly to the Godot project, when I come back to Godot, it should load in right away. Now with the COL naming convention, we get a scene root, we get a mesh instance for the game mesh, and then we get another mesh instance for the collision, and then below that we get a static body, and then below that we get our collision shape. Now the downside of this naming convention is that it came in with an additional mesh instance. So the next naming convention is COL only. And if we export that and we come back to our project, you'll see that that mesh instance goes away. Now with COL and COL only, it's important to note that these are concave polygon shapes. When you're importing them in, Godot is generating the collision. And what concave means is that it's gonna make collision that will form fit exactly to what you made with divots and insets. Now with the last naming convention, it's gonna be convex. And what you'll notice with this naming convention is that regardless of the geometry that you made, it's not form-fitting to what you made. It's encapsulating and wrapping around those areas that you may have had insets in. Now, if for some reason you need to have multiple collision meshes, you can do that. You just need to make another collision mesh and use the proper naming convention. There are a few other naming conventions for exporting, but they're kind of out of the scope of this video or they're not that useful. All right, guys, that covers exporting custom collision from Blender into Godot 3. If you thought this video was useful, please let me know by commenting down below and liking the video. Thanks, guys.